Well, hello there, Crickholics. This video is an easy explanation of recent rule changes in One Day Cricket. Quick look at the changes. First 10 overs, two catching positions no longer required. Batting power play has been eliminated. In last 10 overs, now five fielders will be allowed outside the 30 yard circle, and all no balls will result in free hits. Now let's see how exactly these rules differ from old rules. So here's your cricket field and here is the 30 yard circle and here are your 15 yard circles where the catching fielders are placed. So in the first 10 overs of an ODI which is known as the power play, the fielding team was required to have at least two fielders in catching positions. Now that requirement is gone but still only two fielders are allowed outside the 30 yard circle which are basically the boundary saving positions. Then anytime between 10th and 40th over, batting team used to go for batting power play. That's a block of 5 overs where only 3 fielders were allowed at the boundary. This whole power play is now gone. So from 10th to 40th over, 4 fielders will now be allowed at the boundary. For last 10 overs, only 4 fielders were allowed outside the circle, now 5 fielders will be allowed. So now the game will look something like this. First 10 overs, 2 fielders allowed outside the circle, no catching positions required. Overs 10 to 40, 4 fielders allowed outside the circle. Overs 40 to 50, 5 fielders allowed outside the circle. And finally, all no balls will mean free hits. So an above waist full toss will be a free hit and any other no ball like underhand ball etc which are rare I guess. And of course the front foot no balls. Also still two new balls will be used per inning. I kinda like these changes. I think they balance the game and give something to the bowler. Maybe they could have left the batting power play and the two catchers but ICC felt that these rules were complicating the game which I can understand. I guess they wanted to make it easy for the fans. Some people say that old rules made for high scoring games and more attacking field placements and attacking bowling, which may be true, but it was just getting ridiculous, on a, especially on a good pitch and small ground. And when team batting first scored like close to 400 runs, it was usually a one-sided game, although some teams like England did chase some big totals and come close, they came close to 400. But I feel chases around 300 are still the most fun to watch. So what do you think? Do you agree with these changes? Please comment below, like and subscribe. And vote on this Crick Pulse app. See you next time.